Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and as you guys know, iOS 8.1.1, which was just recently released, is no longer able to be jailbroken. So sadly, a lot of people are getting brand new devices with the latest firmware, iOS 8.1.1, or you may have updated on accident. Either way, in this video, I'll show you guys how to downgrade iOS 8.1.1 back down to iOS 8.1 and jailbreak untethered using the latest version of Pangu. And I'd also like to add that this process is exactly the same for iPhones, iPads, or iPods touches. Basically, any device that is capable of 8.1.1 is capable of being downgraded to 8.1 by using this video. So iOS 8.1.1 is a great firmware. It incorporates a lot of new fixes. However, it's just not able to be jailbroken yet. And although it has been jailbroken already, that's not going to see a public release. So in this video, I'm just going to show you an A to B process, how to downgrade and then jailbreak using Pangu. And it's very easy, but this is very time sensitive. I mean, at the moment of making this video, it's possible to do this, but it's very possible that Apple will patch this very soon and you'll no longer be able to do this. So just a little disclaimer. Now you guys will need to download a couple things to your desktop and it's a very simple process. I mean, I'll stay with you guys throughout the entire process to make sure you go through it just fine. But I just want you guys to know that there is a possibility this will not work in the future. Anyways, let's go ahead and head over to my desktop. And before we do that, I just want to show you guys, I am running the latest 8.1.1 firmware on my iPhone 5. As you guys can see, 8.1.1, and I'm going to be downgrading it to iOS 8.1. Okay, so now that I'm on my desktop, now this works on both Mac and Windows computers. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this. Now you will need to download two things, and that's your iOS 8.1 firmware that you will be downgrading to for your individual device and the latest Pangu jailbreak. And all links can be found down below in the description or just click on this annotation right here. And also, I just wanted to let you guys know that on the back of your device, you have your model number. So for me, it's A1429 for a CDMA iPhone 5. It's very possible that you can download the wrong IPSW file, so make sure you match it with the model number on your device and everything will be labeled down below in the description in the link. So anyways, once you have those downloaded, make sure your device is plugged in and let's go ahead and open up iTunes. Okay, so inside of iTunes, I want you guys to do one thing before attempting any of this, and that's back up your data. So, you know, this method that I will be showing you guys, it actually preserves all of your data. I mean, as far as I know, it worked for me. However, I just want you guys to know that sometimes accidents happen, and it's good to have that reassurance that all of your data is backed up. You know, you never know what could happen. Even though this method does preserve your data, sometimes it won't work for everybody, and I'm going to show you an alternate method as well that could work. Anyways, so, you know, on a Windows computer, you're going to hold the shift key and left click. On a Mac, I'm going to hold the option key and I'm going to left click check for update. I know it sounds weird that we would be updating to iOS 8.1 from iOS 8.1.1, but that's just how it works. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and select it and we're just going to update from a newer firmware to an older one. And I'm going to verify, select update and the process will begin. So I was experiencing trouble on one of my other computers doing this, so I swapped over to my MacBook and it works flawlessly. I don't know why that is, but sometimes if you guys are experiencing troubles, you can fix it just by swapping computers from a Mac to Windows or just an alternate computer. But anyways, I found that that little trick could help a lot of people. And like I said, for some people, the update method will not work. You'll have to fully restore your device to downgrade to 8.1. And in that case, it still works. It's just all of your data will be erased. Anyways, as you guys can see, it is currently downgrading to 8.1 via the update method. And if you guys are confused at any point, just click down below in the description. The link in my article will explain everything in a more precise manner. So anyways, once this is done, I will be right back. Hey, and guys, if at any point this video is no longer working, because right now, even though 8.1.1 is out, Apple is still signing 8.1 in the description, in the article, I will make sure to highlight that this no longer works so you guys don't waste your time or mess up your device attempt this on a device that wouldn't work so you know make sure to read the article it'll tell you guys everything you need to know and as for the jailbreak after this if you guys aren't familiar with jailbreaking it's just a way to free up your device it's really simple to do and I'll be showing you guys how to do that as well it's just a one-step click and it's a very stable release okay so once this is done I'll be right back okay my device has finished restoring and as you guys can see, iTunes will immediately tell you that iOS 8.1.1 is available for download, but disregard that we just came from there. And in a moment here, 
we should be running iOS 8.1. And again, this is my iPhone 5. You know, I'm still amazed that this method is still working. I mean, Apple usually closes the signing period very soon, but anyways, in general, about, as you guys can see, I am on iOS 8.1, a jailbreakable firmware. It's great that you get a second chance. And anyways, let's go ahead and jailbreak the device on iOS 8.1 using the latest version of Pangu. So this is an incredibly simple process. And let's just go ahead and open it up. Now, in some cases on a Mac computer, it won't let you open it. So you want to right click it and select open. Or if you're on the Windows computer, right click it and select run as administrator. All right. So it immediately registers your device. Cool, cool. Make sure it is plugged in and just click start jailbreak. So this will pretty much warn you. Also put your device in airplane mode. And if you have an iCloud account signed in, make sure you're signed out of it. If you have any touch ID or passcode enabled, make sure you sign out of that as well. This pretty much just tells you that. And the less stuff you have on your device, the more successful the jailbreak could be. Anyways, already did all that. And it begins the jailbreak on its own. So this takes about five to 10 minutes. Don't touch your device, don't use anything on it, just set it aside during this process. Now, a lot of people ask me, does jailbreaking your device make it slower? And in and of itself, a jailbreak will never make your device slower unless it's really old and unless it has a ton of stuff on it. I'm talking about gigs and gigs of data. And if you install a lot of tweaks, you know, you could see a performance hit as well if they're running simultaneously. But in general, jailbreaking is a great way to free up your device and add some functionality, extra functionality and customization to it. Generally, it's a very positive reaction and just the amazing things you can do with it make it worth it. If you guys wanna check out more things you can do with that at the end of this video, just click on one of the tweak videos and you'll see more awesome tweaks and things you can do on the iOS 8 jailbreak. All right, so as soon as the jailbreak completes, your device will restart. It should only restart about once and okay. And you will have Cydia and the blue Pangu icon installed. So go ahead and open up Cydia and it'll take about five minutes to refresh all the sources, set up Cydia. You know, after that's done, I'll be right back. Okay, well, now my device is jailbroken with a working Cydia. So if you're wondering what to do after you jailbreak, I have plenty of videos to share with you guys, lots of tweaks. You know, adding functionality and customization is primarily the number one thing. Anyways, I'm so glad that this still exists, that you can downgrade from 8.1.1. It's great, you know, take advantage of that right now. If you do receive a new device, make sure to downgrade it as fast as possible because this won't be around forever. And just a couple troubleshooting tips. So if you guys are experiencing any sort of trouble, first off, you need to read the article down below because it will explain just about everything to you. And second off, first thing you want to do is restart your computer. Sometimes, I don't even know why, but just a restart could solve a lot of problems you may be having with iTunes. Also, try it on another computer or sometimes fix your host's file because sometimes that could be damaged from any previous jailbreaking experience. And just try it on a different computer. That also helps. You know, sometimes you just switch it up like for me and it works. Also, if you are experiencing any sort of IPSW errors, make sure your model number matches up with the one of the IPSW firmware that you did download. I know such a simple little thing could prevent a lot of people from downgrading. And lastly, make sure that iOS 8.1 is still being signed. And to find out how, down below in the description, I will have a link to a website where it checks that iOS 8.1 is still being signed. So simple little things like that could make the difference between you downgrading or not. And anyways, just want to let you guys know a couple little things that you could do to ensure you have a better experience. Well, that's just about it, guys. I do hope you enjoy Cydia on iOS 8.1. After downgrading from iOS 8.1.1, enjoy the jailbreak, guys, and have a great day. Peace.